she, she seems maybe like she's not so hot anymore is because you're challenging her on her difficult side. And so it's important to give her little breaks from that, but then to feel like you can control the right shoulder and now a little bit put your left leg on, make her straight. Not faster. Control the speed with your own posting. And again, the next long side, you're gonna take just a little counter flexion. And when she comes stretching onto that right rein, then you push her left hind with your left leg up onto that soft right rein. There's no point pushing her onto the right rein if it's tight, you know what I mean? Because you're just going to contribute to the, the tension. Good, and then push her straight. Good, before you can use a rein, it has to have the right effect. If you touch the rein and the horse tosses their head, it's of no use. Good job. Good, very good. And then push her with your left leg. Very good, okay? That's straightness. Straightness is just as much about the feeling that you have a left and a right side as it is about the actual positioning of the horse, okay? It's about you feeling that you can be in the middle and that she can be in the middle. Whether she's bending right, cantering left, no matter what she's doing, that there's a, a middle place on that scale where the balance is perfect. Good. You're gonna play a little in the next corner at F. A little bit that feeling through the right rein off of your left leg. And then as you come off the long side, you can leg yield off your right leg. Yeah, a little touch the right rein. Yes. And then send her on a little bit. And then leg yield, touch the right rein. Yeah, touch the right rein. Come on. Yeah, move her nose a little to the right. Good. Change direction again. This is just the way that needs a little bit of work is all. Yeah, touch the right rein. Yes. So you feel, and that's enough, touch it already. Okay, this direction, if you're gonna use the right rein, don't let it get to a point where you're not going to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Take her a little bit through the right again. Good, 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 that's fine there. Maybe a couple steps, yeah, through the right rein. Yeah, yes, and then send her a little bit on, and then already bring her a little bit back on the right rein. Flex her a little right this way. Good, good, good. Okay, that's perfect. So we can focus, now that we know where a little bit the tension is paused, we can focus both directions on that right rein. Does that make sense to you? No matter which leg you're pushing her off of, you can get the submission and the stretch wherever she needs it, which in her case is usually on that right rein. Very good. And already bringing it back, leg to hand. Good job, perfect. Let her feel a little pet somewhere. Okay, so her reward for giving to that rein is that you get really soft, okay? Why don't you let her have a little walk? But it's important to identify, the running's not gonna be a problem. That's just strength building. But what's, what you really need to spend your time focusing on after these regionals are over is that you have control before and after. Because what happens in between is only strength building over time, okay? But your ability to set it up in a way that she's over her back, and that she's in front of your leg, and the same thing when you bring her back on the other end of it is going to be how successful or unsuccessful the extension itself is, all right? You let her walk and then maybe I might just finish up by playing a little bit in the trot, not with the lengthenings, but a little bit with your tempo control and a little bit of cadence, okay? Thinking a little on the passage. <laughs> 